This part of the lake is 200 feet deep back there by that tower. Now this house on this point right here, this is called Van Nuys Point because that's the Van Nuys house built by the Van Nuys brothers who built Van Nuys, California. They bought the lake in the late 1920s after it could no longer be used as a reservoir, but the idea turned this into a high-end resort. So they went about selling properties to the high-end people like Jack Water, back there from Water Brothers Studio. Conrad Dalton, we'll see his place here in a little bit. But they didn't sell like they wanted to. But places were selling down there at Big Bear Lake. Big Bear Lake, about 40 miles, as the eagles can fly straight from this here, which is a reservoir actually for redlands, but their water is legal because it would flow that way to the ocean. They'll probably sell to Big Bear Lake, and they think, well, that's the problem. If you're going to buy property, would you rather buy property on Big Bear Lake or Little Bear Lake? This has been Little Bear Valley with the trees. Little Bear Lake, when they put it in the water. This lady went about changing the name from Little Bear Lake to Arrowhead Lake. And they named it after the natural rock formation down at the bottom of the hill. So if you're down on the 210 freeway, you're going to come up Highway 18 on your right-hand side of the mountain, natural rock formation, in the shape of an arrowhead. 1,500 foot tall. There's actually Arrowhead Springs at the bottom of that arrowhead. Arrowhead Springs, Arrowhead. And a park down there. And that's where your arrowhead bottled water comes from. If you put 2% of that water in your bottle, 98% Colorado River water, they can call it Mountain Spring Water. This house here with the black roof on it, every man's home is his castle. But if you're Conrad Hilton, you go over to England, you buy a castle, and you bring it back over here to the lake and rebuild it on the lake. Two houses to the right in the trees right there, that's Patrick Swayze's old place. Now over here where we see the Sandy Beach, that's the Tavern Bay Beach Club. One of the two private beach clubs here on the lake. Got to be a member to be able to enjoy it. And so we see the sand. And then over here we see the water disappearing around the bend. That's the start of Willow Creek. That is the overflow for the lake. When the lake gets to this height, it overflows. I mean, that bridge goes down to Deep Creek, which is the point of the Mojave River, which is on the desert side of the mountains, not on the ocean side. But more important to us, behind that sandy beach and that bridge is a huge structure 